Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology, and today we have the stock uh, Kindle Fire. Now I have previously rooted it, but I have intentionally gone back to pure stock. I did the reset to defaults from inside the settings, and it is back to a standard stock device. You can see with the settings here, it's all right back to the uh, software version 6.2.1, and uh, it, it I just did the reset to factory previously, and it went through the process. You can check that video. I uh, went through the process and set us back to standard stock. And now what we want to do is root this device. And uh, so it's it's at stock. We want to root it and see what we can do with it. Now, in a previous episode, I showed you how to install the Kindle Fire Utility. It's on the screen there. Okay, so I'm going to connect up the device. Okay, we got a response from, from uh, Windows, and uh, the Kindle goes into its normal transfer mode. And uh, so we'll move in to the KFU. Okay, Kindle Fire Utility. Okay, and all these, uh, once you operate this, and, and again, check the previous versions, uh, previous videos for information about how to use it. But uh, I, I just execute the run.bat file, and we come up to it, so we do a zero to check the uh, status of the device and it says it is online and boot status 4000 which is the correct status. Okay, If you got something else well it probably wouldn't matter too much. You, you probably would be able to do it anyway. Okay so the first thing we want to do is uh, just go ahead and, and number one uh, install Google Apps and oh, wait a minute let's see uh, I think we're gonna, yeah, go back. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I was already at a, another uh, step. Okay. So uh, the first thing we want to do is install permanent root with SuperUser. Okay. So that's number one, and uh, we just press one on the keyboard, and then uh, if we're in, uh, it says the status is number one normal, and uh, that's what I do. Okay. Let's go back. Return. All right. Oh, it's number two. That was boot mode. Okay. So uh, number two is installed the permanent. Okay. So we press two, and there it goes. And it says, okay, fast boot uses a different device than ADB, and you should check the device manager for Kindle. Uh, you should talk to your see. Okay. Well, whatever. It seems to be doing all right. Whatever. It's okay. 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 And uh, it's working. And over here on the Kindle Fire, uh, we see a new screen, and it's the blue screen. And so uh, it's still working over here. We're rebooting, and it's finished, and uh, it's waiting. Please wait. And on the Kindle Fire, again, we still, here we go. All right, we're now into Team Win, uh, which is the recovery project on the Kindle Fire. And over here, it says attempt to remove root checker. We can't rename system. No such file. Okay. All right. So uh, on the Kindle, we're rebooting again. And it says notice the Kindle Fire is blue. The blue fire that, and then it changes to yellow, uh, the normal, and the blue I think tells us that we have the uh, fire, 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 and uh, Team Win recovery setup. So uh, let's see what happens here. Haven't done this in a while. Okay, so we're up on the Kindle Fire, and uh, it says it's installing the uh, super user, and permanent root has been installed. And please be careful with how you use root and press any key to return. So we return. Okay, so we're back on the Kindle Fire. We're back to the transfer mode. Okay, so now we want to uh, see how this looks. So let's just go ahead and disconnect. So that's that's the only thing we want to do uh, with that right now is is to uh, do that. So we disconnect, and the first thing we see is that we have a super user here. So we click on super user, 
and it tells us okay we're setting it up and super user is installing itself and there's no log information so there's nothing to do there so we back up but super user now uh, is is installed so we have root now with root we can do a lot of things to the device but see it's still it's still the standard old uh, not much stuff to do and uh, so we can go to the web but that's about all you can do with it other than read books that's that's what it was for it was it was designed to read books and uh, that's what the Kindle Fire does best but we're going to make it into an Android tablet okay so we connect the uh, USB again and it tells us that we are connected and we're back over here to the Kindle Fire utility I'll move in again okay and so this time we're going to go to the extras menu that's number six and we're going to install Google Apps and the Go Launcher okay so number one is Google Apps and Go Launcher so it's going it's downloading a file and uh, here we go and it's loading that and sending it to the device and nothing happening over here on the Kindle Fire uh, we're just still on the uh, transfer mode but it says success we were able to accomplish that We're change, copying the calendar and mail and those kind of programs. And it says it's all done. Press any key. Okay. okay. So uh, we're offline now. The fire is now rebooting. And again, the Kindle Fire Utility says it's offline because it is rebooting. It's not actually connected to anything. Fire is coming up. Well, it's offline. We'll just go ahead and disconnect. There's nothing connected, so uh, I mean, it's not uh, online, so it won't change anything. All right, so it looks like standard still, except that this time, notice we have another launcher available. The standard old Kindle thing down here, the launcher, and it's just about as bland in there as it is on screen and the bright green uh, Go Launcher so we want to use it by default click on that and then select Go Launcher hello there we go alright and it starts telling us about the Go Launcher now I've used it before so it's not really going to help me a lot uh, but there we go we have the Go Launcher installed now and uh, also we should be able to, uh, down here at the bottom of the Go Launcher is uh, the uh, Applications button. We click on that and it's still installing so it's a little difficult to use right now. But we should have on here a number of new widgets and stuff. There's the Google Messenger and uh, uh, should have Gmail on here and the calendar. Uh, there's Google Plus. And uh, well, at any rate, now you have uh, have the opportunity to do a lot of other things. You can use this device for uh, just about anything you want to now. And uh, one of the first that we want to do is go to the market. Now, this is the Android market, and uh, must add an account and so I already have an account on Android so I can say yes and I'll just go ahead and sign into my Google account if you don't have one then you sign up for one right there in the same screen okay so we have rooted this device and set up the Go Launcher so that now we have a different uh, launcher a different main screen so uh, there's a lot that you can do but there's still more that we will do 
Okay, so that's the first step is to get root and the Go Launcher working. Okay, so raywaldo.com for more information, more up-to-date things come about there quicker than changing these videos. But you see how it works. raywaldo.com. See you there. Bye.